Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Ms Janie O'Neill, the head teacher of Coatbridge High School. Thank you. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. Coatbridge High has over 1,100 pupils and we are honoured to be an integral part of the local community. I have been head teacher in Coatbridge High for four years and have a family connection with the school, as my late grandfather Alex Struthers was principal teacher of modern languages there in the 1970s. He is still well remembered by relatives of current pupils for the copious notes he issued on a relentless basis. My grandfather would be interested to walk into today's classroom to be met by interactive smart boards and pupils on smartphones and iPads. Yet is there really such a difference between the morning prayers he delivered in French and German to help his pupils prepare for their exams and the active learning methodologies we use today? I believe that whilst our education system has changed in many ways, our core values and beliefs as educators remain the same. I was reminded of this just before Easter when I received a parcel from the daughter of a former school captain, John Brackenridge, who started at Coatbridge Secondary School in 1934. Included in the parcel was the 1938 school magazine, the front cover designed by John and costing 3D. The contents of this magazine reinforced to me how the commitment and dedication of teachers across Scotland has changed so little. The pages have many stories of pupil achievements with various similar clubs on offer, although I'm not sure what the uptake, uptake would be now for bulb growing. Like our current newsletter, the forward is by the head teacher, and a similar theme was relayed to the pupils in 1938, with them being encouraged to take a positive attitude to their schooling. The rector writes at the time, Coatbridge Secondary School is providing you with the means by which interest can be aroused and conditions in which social as well as personal qualities can be developed. What are you going to do about it? It rests with you whether the school is merely going to be a place of stone and mortar or a living centre full of energy and hope to whose inspiration in years to come you will look back with affection and gratitude. As lifelong learners, we can all reflect and consider what we will make of the opportunities which come our way. And I am reassured to know that we maintain these values 80 years on. Thank you.